Hey everybody, Brandon with The Chosen Prime here, and we are back on this Christmas Eve with a new video here of X-Transbots uh, Jansen. So this is a pre-production copy, so I'm sure there will be some differences on the, the final version. Uh, I'm sure they'll tighten up a few tolerances. Um, overall though, uh, it feels very good for a pre-production copy. Uh, before we get started here, I just want to say thank you to everybody. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a happy new year and everybody be safe out there and again thank you for another year of continued support you guys have been awesome and uh hopefully you can bear with us a little bit we've got a ton of arrivals coming in over the next two weeks so we may be a little behind on getting stuff out but let's take a look at this guy first we'll look at the accessories that we have which are plentiful and see what you guys think of that. So first we'll take a look here at our comic heads. So this is the, the standard look here of our sniper. And then we have the very cool monocled look, which is uh, real nice. So that is our comic heads. If you choose to transform it that way and, and, and hold him in that way, you can do that. It's very simple. I'll show you some more details on that in a few minutes. We'll take a look at all these faces. He comes with six total faces. Um, I've got them all out right now, so we'll show you each and every one. This is kind of your standard stoic face. We've got a kind of yelling face here. This one. We have our little smirky face. This is probably my favorite one because I feel like this kind of embodies the movie look the best or, or just my memories of the movie, I guess. Um, kind of a speaking voice. And then we have a, a disheveled, uh, you know, disturbed look, scared. And then we've got our very serious uh, down-to-business face. So that is all six of those. Uh, we'll snap one of them back on after transformation, but we'll take a look at his little scientific bits here. All of these are pegged, as you can see right here, so he can hold them in his hand as if it was a gun. So we got our little beaker and a test tube here, again, pegged on the side, and a little flask also pegged on the side. So... You can have him like pouring something if you want, uh, doing other scientific things. Now we'll take a look at the weapon set. Uh, we've got a blast effect, and I don't know what this is for. Um, maybe we'll find out later that, that they're going to do something with these other bits that we'll take a look at here. But blast effect wise, this one's very similar to MP44's uh, color, shape. Uh, I like these, I love blast effects, they go well in my collection. Um, take a look at these weapons. So we'll look at this one first. This is your, your toy uh, gun, one of them anyway. And very cool. And the coolest part is it is spring-loaded. So that's awesome. Glad they threw that in there. Uh, this is your more of your animation gun. And this is where the blast effect comes in. So you just pop that over the top real easy. Holds on good and uh, has a nice look to it. So I like that. And then you have your other toy gun here in the rifle form. Take a look at. And before I get to that real quick, these things, they seem like they go to something maybe. There's some, some key marks on the back. Um, I don't see that they fit together particularly, like back to back or anything. So... We'll see what those end up being. Uh, again, this gun is keyed, so you just slide it in. Um, it holds okay there. And you have your, your G1 big gun. Now we'll take a look at these little mini guys who are super cool. Um, this is our little mini perceptor in microscope mode. So we got him. All the detail on them is pretty clean. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, how how crystal clear they are. I've got one complaint on this bumblebee, but it's minor. As you can see, his eyes are very droopy. He's very sad bumblebee. Other than that, these guys are awesome. They uh, have full articulation. Um, they're ball jointed pretty much everywhere or pinned. 
Uh, they even have ankle rockers, as you can see, to get some really, really nice poses. And probably the coolest part to me is they actually have waist articulation. So you can get some excellent posing out of these guys. Just, I mean, they didn't have to throw this in and they didn't have to do them this good. So I'm really happy with, with what I see there. Take a look at our brawn. Uh, his head sculpt is is really good. He he looks nice. Um, again, same thing, same articulation all the way around. His waist swivel is not as great because of his little backpack there, but it's still there. And uh, they pinned his ankle rockers, so they're just a little bit different, but still serve the same purpose and get a nice, nice deep deep ankle rock. Our perceptor, same bits. Uh, ankle rockers on ball joints there um, same thing here and then even our microscope is on a ball joint so we can move that around so these guys uh, again detail on them was was unnecessarily good but uh, I'm happy that they did it and hopefully we can get some more from from them like that because they just make a cool display so we'll take a look here at our microscope now I'll show you some bits along the way with this, but um, first we'll look at our, our microscope mode. This just turns and, and pivots this up and down, uh, so that's cool. Got full range there. Uh, you also have the ability to, if you want to poke it up in the air and go that route, where he's looking at something in the sky, you can do that as well. So this all holds together pretty well. Uh, I will show you a couple of things here as we kind of work through uh, uh, transformation. We got these wheels. These go in this position uh, in microscope mode. So if you want to fold those in, they just slide. They just pivot side to side um, to, uh, to fold back up flat. So we'll just fold those guys away. And uh, then he's kind of back flat again. Uh, the rest of the transformation is, is actually pretty smooth. Um, we'll, I'm sure I'll, I'll fumble through some part of it here, but we'll, we'll work our way through. Um, these tabs right here, I want to show you these. They go in this slot right here uh, in, in alt mode. So they're just going to pop in there. Just make sure when you're pulling him out um, of, of alt mode, you just kind of kind of roll the, roll the thigh down uh, or the hip down. And you can, you can kind of work your way through that uh, that way. Uh, these are just going to clip back in place, the, the thigh right there. And again, just going to kind of roll that out of the way so we don't catch that tab at all. And we just spin that around and boom, we got full, full lower body is pretty well done here. Um, this guy is really heavy. Uh, I, I'm blown away at the amount of die cast he has. He's a little back heavy right now because I have him shifted forward. So we'll kind of we'll we'll go through that. But this this whole section right here pivots all the way this way. So you want to push that back into center, and then that kind of kind of grounds him uh, gravity wise. You know, so he's centered up again. Uh, these we'll show you where they go in just a minute. But start by folding this back. Uh, this is going to end up kind of in this center position. It just pivots all the way, but it seems to me that the center position is where it actually needs to be uh, for transformation to, to get everything tightened up there. Uh, you got a couple of tabs right here that you can see. Uh, as you pull the arm away, you can just fold those away, and, uh, and, and that one was already folded up. Um, so you can just fold those out of the way. Just don't forget about them. Um, you don't want to. You don't want to break those off, just uh, because of that. Oh, let's uh, raise this this all up, so your whole torso just lifts up. Um, and then you have these tabs as well that you want to watch out for. Um, don't don't try to pull this down. This section right here drops down, but not before you pull that tab. So we'll go to this side, we'll kind of pull the tab and then get our nail in here. And that's kind of opened up now to where we can you can start getting this guy uh, into robot mode. You want to slide this out also and just bring this down. Then you got this little tab here. This will be a filler, uh, but you got to get it out of the way. So just make sure that's out of the way. 
and now it just becomes a little bit of a spacing uh, issue that you have to, you gotta work your way through a little bit. So the arm just kind of comes out. Um, it just unfolds and, and you can see kind of the pivoting joints there that are in play. So that one, uh, that one's clear now. And then same thing with this one, just pop it out. And th this all goes together really smooth. Uh, you want to you want to get these back in there at some point along the way here, but we'll we'll clear this stuff out of the way first. Uh, you also have these pieces here that are going to flip up and get out of your way, so you can you can slide your microscope through. But let's let's get the head up here and out, and then we can kind of fold this back, and we want to fold that microscope. Right in here. So this piece is going to drop into the shoulder. So that's when I say that, that this kind of needs to be toward the middle. Uh, just based on what I've seen. This can be a little tricky to get on there. And I, I, may not, I may not totally get it right in the video here. But you just fold that back up. Close up that tab. And we'll get his arm out of the way so you can kind of see what's going on here. Again, this tab needs to go right into the shoulder right there. So you want that to kind of work its way down. Let's let's fold this back down out of the way. And then this is going to end up holding in there. So that that's how that holds in place. Uh, the other side, we have this, this piece right here. Now this guy can be kind of a bear to get out uh, because it, it tucks back behind these pieces. So you, you really have to make sure this is fully stretched and that everything's clear out of the way. I'm going to actually open this back up so I can get my finger in there and then I'll, I'll work back through it. But I wanted to, to kind of show you guys this as best as I can. So you want to kind of pop it out and then that, that fills this upper shoulder out uh, real nicely and, and cleans that up. So then we just pop that back down, lower this piece one more time, and our shoulders kind of, everything's kind of falling into place there, like that, and then there. So then we'll take this head, and these pieces all are going to just tuck away here. This tucks back in to this piece to close that, to, to kind of clean that up back on the back of the head there. So that, that's going to, and then you're just going to spin this head around. Now this connects, if I remember right, um, and I'm just not, I'm not getting it all the way in place, but it does connect up there. And then these guys are just going to float down in here like that. So that goes there. And then we can kind of, we got his head in position we just fold the chest up fold this down and then our chest is there so we'll go ahead and we'll put a face on again now to give him a little life and there's our perceptor so now we'll, we'll work our way around here we got to spin the waist around now he's, you can see he's starting to come together nicely so to get these in, you just kind of fold them, fold them up and in, and then they just pivot right up here, and this, this fills in this joint right here. So I'll show it to you. There's a slot right here for this tab. So it just slides right up in there. It's pretty smooth, um, all in all. So we'll get this here. And again, this thing, you got to work with this a little bit, but it will get in place. The hands, let's see if I can remember these hands here. There's a panel that folds down, so you just kind of get your nail in there a little bit and, and fold that down. And then the hand pops out this way. So it's kind of unusual, but it, it works. So then you just fold that back in, this down, and you get your hand out. So he's got fully, uh, he's got one index finger is separate from the other three, and then a uh, fully articulated thumb here that rolls side to side and is uh, got two pins in it. So we'll pop this other one out, we'll 
drop this tab again you just kind of put your nail in there and it's tight right here so this is this is kind of odd uh why it's so tight but that last little bit of moving that joint is real tight just be careful with that um and all in all we have our perceptor here and take a look at him looks great this is this is the g1 look um this this is much cleaner than our you know the the version one tesla um and and he's he's very very heavy again like i said um his his heft is is considerable so we'll take a look we'll drop a drop a gun in hand here and give you give you a little bit of the posability that he has uh with with this guy I'm I'm really happy with the the ease of transformation and just the way that they executed this. It, it feels feels very upmarket. Um, it, it feels premium. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, even though I'm having trouble getting this in here, everything about it has has really you know kind of felt very good and got good waist articulation so we can we can get him in some some really aggressive poses here to kind of round out this figure and uh again very heavy uh good base ankle rockers are great and I, i'm i'm happy with it i i've been pretty critical of xtb and, and some of their their releases but this guy gets the job done. Uh, very clean and uh, feels good. I don't see too many things that, that could be potential problems. You just want to watch out for those tabs. And beyond that, everything looks pretty good here on, on this guy. So uh, we should have him in stock in the next few weeks. So be on the lookout for this. If you don't have a pre-order in, go ahead and get it in. And uh, we'll see you guys again after the new year. Have a great one and appreciate y'all.